So congratulations, Mike Venning. You are winner of the Ted Rag Award for Lifetime Achievement. How does that feel? It's um, a great, it's flattery uh, of, of the worst kind, really, because it's also humbling. And that, um, that combination, almost in equal measure, makes it a very special occasion. Um, I'm delighted on the one hand, and um, I'm so pleased it's over now that it's done. You're an influential man in Stockton. There are two special schools, at least, that you've been running as executive head. You're now retired, but I'm sure many, many people in Stockton will be celebrating tonight. I would like to think that they were, and, uh, and I would really love them to sort of join with us and be here today to help that celebration here. Um, but I'll catch up with them when I get home. And would you like to say something about those special needs youngsters that you've made such a difference to and why you know, you've made it your mission to say that these are valued and valuable members of society? Absolutely. It's, it's my contention that if you get it right for young people who have special educational needs, you get it right for all children. And I believe that all children have the right to a proper education. So therefore I start with those that need to be perfectly integrated first. And that's always been my priority. Thank you. Patrick, I wonder if we could just ask you a little bit about influences on you in education. We know you had a great English teacher. Could you tell us about him? Well, I was a secondary modern school boy, an 11 plus failure. And uh, in my second year, um, uh, I got a new English teacher who was the first person to put a copy of Shakespeare into my hand, was the first person to suggest I should read it out loud and not to myself, that it wasn't a dramatic poem, it was a play. First put me in a play with adults in front of a live audience and finally, just before I left school, said to me, have you ever thought of taking this up as a career? Which I certainly hadn't. Um, his name is Cecil Dormand, and uh, I'm happy to say that uh, he's still very much with us, and I think maybe the proudest moment of my life was five years ago when, as Chancellor of the University of Huddersfield, I presented him with a, an honorary doctorate and was able to speak about his life and his career because it was an extraordinary life and a career. Um, these individuals touch our lives, uh, as it's clear from the film, Mike has done the lives of many children in a way and at an age, at a time when it's irreplaceable in the impact that it can have on a child and his future development. Because as I said just now on the stage, all of the good things that have happened to me professionally would never have happened without that English teacher. Mm -hmm. And many other actors do you think would be agreeing with you? If you were to go into the green room at the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-on-Avon or wherever they're performing and say to any of those actors, who was the biggest influence on you? You'll find there's an English teacher lurking somewhere in the background, usually an English teacher. Um, occasionally it might be history or it might even be mathematics, but usually it's a, it's a teacher who had a love for language and that he, he imparted that to the student. Sometimes we've been likened to the Oscars for teachers and Lord Putnam set us up 11 years ago. I wonder if you'd like to say something about why it's a worthy cause to celebrate teaching and teachers. Oh, so much to be said about that. Um, there are certain professions in this world whose value is um, beyond price in terms of the impact that they can have on people's lives. And teachers are certainly among them. Uh, and to have them, individuals and the teaching profession, acknowledged in this way on a national stage, on national television, on a Sunday night, uh, I think is no more than they deserve. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you.